All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to be making t a table via jQuery. So I've scripted in my jQuery, and jQuery you can always find. And I always just whenever I need jQuery, I go to jQuery CDN. Should be the very first one that you uh, see right here. So I usually do the minified copy and paste. That's right here. And instead of Bootstrap today, I'm going to be using uh, Materialize. Same concept. Uh, getting started, you just want to use these CDNs right here. Copy and paste those, and you can find those here. And as you can see, I have already hooked in my table right here. So uh, I just want a simple div so that I can just paste my stuff in there. So, oops, wrong one, grid. And I just want something that takes up the whole page. So here, this one, this div is 12 column wise on all screens. So we're just going to take that. Copy and pasting is the coder's best friend. Makes us look lazy sometimes, but hey, you can't reinvent the wheel. So I don't need these divs anymore because I just want the 12. So I'm just gonna confirm that this is working. Oops. I'm gonna go open this in browser, and you can see that it's working, so we're good to go. Let's open the inspector for future uh, use, so we're gonna open this. Alrighty, so we got that going, and now with the table, um, we're just going to pull some data that's easily being thrown in a table, but before I do that, whenever you're working with jQuery, you wanna always do your document.ready. What this does, it allows the page to completely render before you do any logic with jQuery. Um, this really helps because um, if you need to, if you need to do anything on this div, and if I hooked it in this way, this is going to be rendered first before I get to the hello world div, meaning it's not going to exist when that logic needs it to, to exist. So this way we say, hey, 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 hold on until it's created. So that's the point of this uh, document.ready. Always include it with jQuery. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come to a wonderful site called OMDB, which you can get data from movies. Um, so I typed in John Wick here, um, really enjoyed that movie. I saw the second one, very good movie as well. And so I'm gonna open this in browser and you can see here's the data in a JSON format, JavaScript object notation. I'm gonna come over here and paste this in. Gonna close this. So as you can see here, we're getting some red errors because uh, yeah, it's not really declared right. So if you were to just run this as is, you sh we should be getting an error, yep, yeah, see? unexpected token on line four, so right here. So what we need to do is we need to add a name to this. So I'm gonna do John, oops, not capital, Wick, just like that. And then watch when I put this equals bar, see it goes all to the right color, so we're good to go. And once again, for clarity's sake, I like to console log everything so I know that it's working so I can take that out of the debugging process. And so you can see it's right there. So there's our object, perfect. So that object now exists on the browser. And for clarity's sake, let's take out this hell world so I don't need to worry about it when I'm appending stuff to the page. And while I'm on here, I'm gonna go ahead and add an ID so I have something to target. So now I have something to target. So now what I want to do is I want to make a table. And once again, as I said, do reinvent the wheel. Never, never, never. So we're going to go over to materialize. They have a section for tables. And look, they already have predefined written code for us. And they have these classes that you can add to the table to mutate them in certain ways. So see how this one has a border 
So uh, like this one doesn't have a border, this one has a border, this one's stripe, this one's highlighted. So it's really your candy jar here. You can pick what you want. I always take this and I just come right in here and I just go ahead and copy and paste it in there. Obviously this is gonna break the code if I run it because that's HTML and JavaScript so I just go ahead and comment it out. So I know I have this as a reference so I don't need to always keep on pulling up this page. So let's start making jQuery. So let's make this via jQuery. So as I said, J jQuery is very powerful and it allows us to manipulate the DOM with JavaScript. So we're gonna do var table equals and then we're gonna make an HTML element with jQuery. Just like that. Now very important point here, you do not need to close this off anywhere in the code. So for example that, jQuery will do that for you. It is amazing. And you see these classes here, let's, let's make this border class, that looks nice. So we're gonna do table dot add class. This is a jQuery um, method. You can look this up on jQuery's page on how to use it. So we're gonna add border right to it like that. And then what we have to do is we need to append it to the HTML. And how we're gonna do that is a function called append to. I like append to because I can read it easier. A table is being appended to wherever I want it. In this case, it's going to be the display. So I'm gonna be using hashtag for ID. If it was class, I would be using dot. I don't ever use a selector with uh, with Bootstrap or Materialize because or these type of ones because I reserve those only for Materialize or Bootstrap. So don't do that. So let's double check that this is working. Let's bring this over here. And we're just going to expand all. So you can see we have the table appended right to the ta uh, right to the screen. Obviously there's nothing in there yet because we haven't done anything, but there it is, there it lives. So with jQuery, we're able to make an HTML element, add a class to it, you see the class right there, and then append it to the display. So instead of coming over here and statically writing out table, we have done that through jQuery. This is very important because it allows dynamic pages to be made. So now we need to make this uh, table head. So we're gonna do var. Oops. And look, there's no classes or anything, so we're gonna go ahead and append that too. The table. Now notice that I'm not using the dollar sign on these anymore because I've already referenced it as uh, jQuery. So now in memory, this is always a jQuery uh, thing. So now you don't ever have to use the dollar sign. So you could have come over here and done this if you wanted to, but it's completely redundant. So if we reload the table, So, there's, so you can see how I'm just adding pieces. So I just need to make it look like this. So once again, I like append to, you can use append, but I like append to because I can read it better. I'm appending this to that. It just flows better with English. And instead of just completely rendering it all the time, I'm gonna go ahead and just complete it. And now take a look here. So I need this to be my column names. Just like when you come over here, name, item name, and item price. Name, item name, and item price. Those are the column names. So very simply, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make this and obviously I can't have these name the same thing so I'm going to do key okay. 
And then I'm going to make that sublime magic. And then I'm just going to call the second one info. So that, that's going to be the info of the movie. And once again, that's the same element. And now I need to apply text to it. So I'm going to call this one key. And info. And now I need to append those to the uh, to the DOM. All right. Let's see if this is shaping up the way we want it. So there you go. We see we have key and info. So if I expand this. You can see our completely uh, table right there. So nothing is in our T body yet. So we need to make that. So let's go ahead and make it. So let's make our T body because our T body only needs to be made one uh, once. So we're going to do that outside the for loop I'm about to do. Just like that. And then we're going to append it to so T body needs to go inside of table. So we need to put this actually to the table instead of doing the the, the head or these other elements. So now we need our for loop. Now once again you can completely do this writing it out, but that's the what the powerful thing of jQuery is, is that it allows us to do uh, JavaScript so we can now do vanilla JavaScript to make this so what we're going to do here is we are going to run this the length of what we have here title year release well we don't really have that stored very well because this object holds all these values so there's this very, very, very powerful thing that you can do called, and I'll show you here, object.keys. So this is something that you can do on objects. And then we're going to pass John Wick in here. And if I console log this out, whoops, oh, these things aren't defined. So we'll go ahead and take those out, run it again. So notice it now has made an array of all the keys that are found in here. Isn't that cool? It, uh, it, is, it is bigger than this. It's just that it doesn't show it all, but here it shows it. So it makes that all the keys an array. So that's very, very powerful for, for what we need to do here. So now what we can do is we can actually do store this as a variable. I'm just going to call it keys. There we go. Am I missing a parenthesis? Oh, I need to take this parenthesis. Okay. There we go. So now this key holds all the keys that are found in here. So now I'm going to go the length of that. And I'm going to use a JavaScript 6 word here called let, which is very powerful. It lets uh, the scope only be defined within the scope that it's made in. So I does not exist outside the for loop. And let really helps that. So right now what we need to do is we mean need to make another table row. Once again, I'm going to do let because then it won't interfere with this one up here. So there we go. And looks like we just need to plainly append it to the page right here. So we need to append that to T body. Oops. Ah, screwing up here. 
T-Body, and we can do that because that's referenced in the global space, so it's, uh, it's available for us in the for loop. That's exciting. And what we're going to do now is we need to make the key, so we need to make these things. So we want to make one every single time. So what we're going to do is let And we're going to make that equal to, did I make one up here? No, I didn't. Okay, so I can't copy and paste. Oh. So there we go, TD. And now we need to apply text on it. So instead of writing this all out over, over and over, so you have a TD for title, TD for year, instead of writing that all by hand, use JavaScript. It is so powerful. So we're going to do text. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in key because it's an array I. So that's going to be the first time it's going to go through, it's going to apply text to this of title. The second time it's going to apply text of year. And it's going to do that dynamically for the entire for loop. Very powerful. So now we just need to append this to the page. And if you run this, look at that. See that with just a few lines of code, we were able to do that. So if you actually go back to here and you look at this, you would have to type this all out by hand. But with jQuery, we were able to do it in just a few lines. See that? Very, very powerful. But obviously, we're missing something. We're missing the info here. So let's go back down here and make the info. So we're going to let. Remember, naming is very important, so maybe name these right. So info. And that's just going to be TD, so I'm just going to copy and paste that down here again. And now I'm going to add text to it. And now I'm going to pass in my object. And now I can reference this either by dot notation or variable notation. So remember, I have it all stored in here, and that keys now store all those other things. So I can literally pass in keys. I. So that means it will go to John Wick dot actors, John Wick dot awards, John Wick, so on and so forth. Very, very powerful. So now all we have to do is append this to the page. And we're going to append this to row again. Oops, I broke something. TD is not defined. Oh, whoops. I don't know why I called that field. That is very interesting. OK, sorry about that. So there it is. So we have just made a table with jQuery. Very powerful. So once again, if I come back to the inspector here and I opened it up, You'd have to type this all by hand. Look at that. A lot of work that I don't want to do. Um, obviously, this table is not that pretty. You know, you can make it and change it to your own. So uh, that's all on you, on you to make it pretty. But this is generally the rough outlines on how to make it. So if I make that a little smaller, it will look nicer. So there it is. And so that's how you make it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you what you can do with this poster right here. Instead of having this ugly URL, we're going to make something with it. So yes, I'll see you next time.